Hey, yo! Uh, welcome to, uh, Todd's room molding polyline video. Room molding polyline video. Timer started. I swear these things go on for 10 minutes. Everybody else does it for about a minute and a half, and it takes me 10 minutes to do these things. Bottom line is Todd's asking me, talk, uh, talking about uh, room room polylines. Uh, room polylines. What, 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 what happens is if you have a room and you uh, use this tool right here, uh, make room poly make room make room polyline just gives you a, a polyline the shape of the room a polyline but a make room molding polyline polyline means that you can now add a molding to it okay so i'm going to add a, i'm a quick quick one at uh, uh default uh, i'm going to make it at, at uh, uh 24 inches i'm going to show you what's going to happen okay oh yeah there it is did you see what I, I just, I made it 24 inches above the floor. Okay. You see what happened? And there it is right there, man. And, and you'll, you'll notice that watch this, uh, watch this, uh, Todd, Todd, watch this. I'm going to put a three to break. Watch this, Todd, pull it out. You will notice that with that right here on this edge right here, Todd, that because I had a door opening there, that it, it automatically broke it. You understand what I'm saying? So when you make a molding room polyline, depending upon the height that you put that that molding at, it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna put a molding where you have an opening, a door, or whatever. Okay, got it? Got it. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna make another room. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another molding uh, uh, molding line. Watch this one. Make a room molding polyline. This time I'm gonna put it at uh, how about seven feet? Seven feet. Okay, Todd. Watch this. Oh. Delete. I don't know what happened to it. Let's try it one more time. Make room molding polyline. Seven feet. Isn't that what I did last time? Seven feet. Okay. I love it when I make mistakes because it, it just proves, I don't know what it proves, but it proves something. Delete. Oh, crap. I did it so well the first time, didn't I? By the way, check this out right here. Look at this right here. Notice that I, I broke it, but notice that, that right here, I do not have a uh, UU. I should put a molding on there. Oh, no molding. Yeah, put a molding on there, okay? And what I'm saying, it broke it. It broke it where the door opening was, right? UU. I'm going to put a molding right there. I'm going to add a molding back in there. And Todd's saying, well, how do you not put a molding on there? Watch this, Todd. Three to break. Uh, three to break right there. I just uh, broke that molding and it's at a certain height, right? And you, you, uh, you, you, and uh, no molding on that, that that edge there. Watch that. See, see, I got rid of that molding. And, and then you can select this one, you, you, and you can turn that molding off if you want, whatever you want it to. What, what height is this molding at? Oh, 20 and a half inches. So why can't I create another one then? Make room molding polyline. Uh, blank molding. I'm going to make it at uh, about 48 inches. I guess. I mean, it happened. <laughs> That's why. Well, I, I looked like a genius the first time I did it, didn't I? Delete. I was, I was a freaking genius the first time. Delete. Can you not have more than one, uh, one make room molding polyline? This is what I did last time. 24 inches. You know, I, I, I was so cool when I did this. I, I hardly ever do this thing. You, you. Add new. Do I have to add a, a new molding to it? Is that what I have to do? I didn't do it last time, man. How about this molding right there? That's a good one. There it is. I guess I didn't add a molding on it. Okay, so, okay. I didn't add a molding to it. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a blank molding. Remember, it was a blank molding. And somehow I added one accidentally to it. Now I'm going to add another one. Watch this one. I'm going to add another one. Make room molding polyline. Now watch this, Todd. Uh, I'm not going to make it a blank. I'm going to, uh, it's going to be seven foot tall. So what, do I have, how did I do that last time? I swear, to, I swear, man. You, you. Now, you, well, you have to now open it up and add a molding to it. Is that what you have to do? Add new user catalog. Add my moldings uh, right there and go over to here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Now, you notice this time, Todd, I, I know it's a huge molding. I, I get that, okay? Uh, molding. Let's just change it to so you can see what's going on. How about, how about six by six? So I just added a molding to that. And now you notice that this time, because that molding was higher than the door, it didn't cut it out for the door, did it? Down here out this molding, it, it, it cut out for the door. Let's see if I can. Ain't that a pistol? You see what happened? I, I, I just, it was broken there. That's kind of weird. And this over here got a moldy, and this one didn't. A little bit different, isn't it? A little bit different. And then Todd's going to say, well, 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 I, I don't want a 7-7. Seven, seven. Then Todd's going to say, well, I want a molding. Look at this. Todd's going to say, well, I want a molding in front of my, well, check this out, Todd. See how those things worked out? Wherever you have an opening, it breaks. Hey, I'm, I'm going to ramble on a little bit. I, I've sort of, I sort of made my point. I, I think I sort of, this is a, a stupid, uh, now check this out. Now, see, it went behind the cabinet, didn't it? So if, if you want it to go in, if you want to be on top of the cabinet, watch this. Uh, watch this. Uh, three to break. Bump. You know, I, I swear, I have. I don't think I've ever used one of these before in my life. This is how they work, though, if you want to use one. See this right there? Uh, here we go. Right, bleh, and I'm going to just uh, bump, bump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam. There's that molding right there, and you, and you can start shaping it any way you want. And you can see this, the molding I'm working with, 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, I will tell you that with X7, apparently they're, they've come out with something where um, you can decide whether, if you have a soffit, you can decide whether that molding uh, um, goes behind the soffit or in front of the soffit. You figure it out. I think I answered Todd's question. And, 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 and so the bottom line is, uh, it, it, whenever you create this uh, molding polyline, depending upon the height, at any opening, it will break itself. And you can see that, that this one broke itself where that door was, and this one didn't, because this one was high enough that it didn't, that it didn't uh, encroach into the door. You got what I'm saying? So I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try something else. I'll, I'll try one more, 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Uh, suppose I do uh, uh, WW w right there. Put another window right there, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. So it, it, this time it's going to break, and you have to cre you have to create it right off the bat. Watch this. Delete. I'm going to create another molding. Make make room molding polyline. It's not going to be a blank. It's going to be a. Do I have a choice? No, it has to be a blank. I don't get it. I don't know. You just figure it out yourself. Oh, now you have to go you you. Now you have to open it up. Uh, uh, set the molding. Add a new molding. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, user catalog. Uh, select uh, select my moldings and uh, how about a molding number one? I don't know what size this is, and we're gonna see what happens. There it is, right there. Uh, M. Uh, uh, hang on, M. Bob. And just so you can see it. Boop. Yeah, you see where where any of the windows are, it, it broke itself. Now, oh, now watch this. Suppose you want that molding to go back into that. Check that out. Check that out, okay? You see how that molding now went back into that space right there? If that's what you want. I mean, you know, it's chair rail or something. If you want chair rail going back in here. But isn't that interesting? It didn't go back on this side. So when you when you extend that thing, what's interesting is you, you don't get the, uh, whoop, how about this? You, you, you. Uncheck no molding on that. Now I got a molding, right? Right. So apparently I have to do, do it on once. You saw what I had to do. If I do it over here, watch. Yeah. Once one side gets it, one side gets one side gets the molding. And this side doesn't. So I go you, you, select it, and uh, no molding. On, uh, uncheck that. Now I'm going to get a molding there. And if I want, I can come over here and go uh, you, you. I can say I want a molding on that side. And then if I really want to, I can say, well, I really want that molding to go back into that window well, or whatever that is right there. You got it right there. See what, see what just happened? Uh, HV. Uh, there you can see it better right there. And so now you can say, oh, but, but over the window, I don't want you, you. I don't want a uh, no molding. Oh, cancel. Oh, uh, uh, cancel. How about this? How about just to make a, a, a point three, uh, three to break. And now I can uh, select uh, this right here, uh, UU, and uh, no molding on selected edge. Done.
Done. Ten minutes. I knew it would take forever. It took for ten minutes. So the bottom line is when you create this mold, uh, uh, room molding polyline, it really, it really is important to, it is semi-important to understand at what height you want to create that because it will then automatically cut out for doors and windows 